What's up, guys? I'm Vince Del Monte. And I'm Ryan Fanley. We are out here in Las Vegas at City Athletic Club. Well, we didn't come to Vegas for the hookers and the cocaine. No, <laughs> we came for the muscle. That's right, and we got our top transformation students here who've traveled in from all around the country who are here for our two-day muscle camp. Right now, we're hooking them up with some Modus gear, and then we're going to get this workout going. Right now, we're taking them through a chest and back workout to build those two body parts faster and more efficiently. You know, Vince has got the just get it done attitude. I'm not going to listen to what everybody else has to say. This is what I believe. Here's the science to back it. And, you know, his clients have the results. A lot of guys who struggle building their lats need to start here. Straight arm pull downs. Keep the tension on all the way to the end. Don't lose that. Squeeze all the way through, all the way through. Good. We start off with our trunk neutral. Nice and tall. We're in the most advantageous position here to the muscle. So we're going to really travel as far back as we can with the elbow. Once we fatigue that angle, we go into a 45 degree angle. And we keep focusing on the same range, but getting more from the lat. And then we finish off with the row. So we're really shorting what's called the lever. And we're getting our lats really, really fatigued here. We're building up a lot of lactic acid, a lot of anabolic hormones to get those lats growing. There it is. Reach. There it is. OK, good. Next. Pull-ups is a fantastic exercise if you set it up properly like we have. What we're doing are three variations. We're starting off with the wide grip, which is where your lats are weakest. So we're going to train them first. Once they fatigue, we're going to bring a little more uh, flexion from the elbows in and we're going to start moving to a medium grip so that we can extend the set. We can get more out of the lats in less time. Once you think you're done, we're going to go right into a neutral grip and this is where we're going to again give more leverage to the lats by changing the moment arm and we're going to get more again from the lats than you would have got by just doing straight sets. Very, very efficient way to train. What we've got here is a mechanical advantage drop set or mechanical advantage extended set is another name for the lats. Now, we're starting off with a straight arm pull down to the sides and we're finishing in the maximally shortened position. Okay, the short position where a muscle is shortest tends to be the weakest position, so we start there. Once he hits fatigue in the short position standing up, he's simply gonna bend at a 45 degree angle forward and continue to go. By going into a more lengthened position, he's allowed to take advantage of a little bit more strength. Once he hits fatigue in the 45 degree position, now he's gonna use a little assistance from the biceps and actually row it to the rib cage and pull with the elbows back. So it's the lats are the primary focus the whole time, but we're changing his body position to take them past the point of fatigue. Exercise execution is probably a big takeaway. I mean, watching videos online is one thing, but uh, getting the hands on from these great coaches is just uh, with the cues for proper technique, form, is something I should have done 10 years ago. Okay, for this parent here, we have mechanical advantage drop sets for the chest. We're starting off with a 45 degree incline dumbbell press. Once they hit fatigue there, the partner's gonna drop the bench down to 30 degrees really quickly, which is gonna give them a little more favorable leverages to be able to complete a few more reps. Once they hit fatigue in the 30 degree position, the partner's gonna drop it down to flat, which is the easiest position for them to do presses in. So they can keep the same weight dumbbells, but simply change their body position to continue to go past the point of fatigue. For this pec fly, we've got three variations. We're starting from low to high. This is where you're gonna feel the strongest. Your pecs are gonna feel really, really great here. But as we fatigue them, we want to extend the set. So then we change the lever and we go from high to low. You're gonna find that you can get a little more out of your pecs here because of the angle, the muscle fibers that we're now bringing into the picture here. And then after that, we're gonna take our arms from long to short and we're gonna keep going with 
elbows bent. All right, so three variations here, which is gonna get so much more out of your chest than just doing normal straight sets. So we just wrapped up our chest and back workout here. Thank you, coaches. Thoughts for you guys? How was it? First workout down. Humbling. Humbling, all right. I see we got some pumps going on here. These guys are swole, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doubled in size. All right, so that's the first workout, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the vid if you guys enjoyed that workout. Don't go anywhere. We got more workouts coming. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do that right now and be first in line for when we upload new Muscle Camp videos straight from Las Vegas. Thanks, guys. Grab your shit and sit downstairs. Yeah. Yeah.